Hey, Randy. Hey, Dad. Great day today. Good duel time? Through the roof. <laughs> um, how's Mom? Mm, not too bad. She finally stopped saying, Boys, whatever you do, don't turn out to be like your father. Okay. Well, this will put her right over the top. Do flowers always work? Yep. Every time I get in trouble, I just call Lou the florist. Well, she gets mad at you so often, you must be on some kind of frequent flower program. <laughs> I'm not only a member, I'm the club president. Hold it right there, up against the wall, spread them. <laughs> Mom, just hand over the rubber band shooters now. I know you have them. Man. You too, baby face. Hey, I'm, I'm not packing a piece, Mom. I'm not. I told you guys to stop making these. Well, we need them for protection against Vinnie McGurn. Look, if you have trouble, just tell the bus driver. He's more afraid of them than we are. Hi, guys. Is your mom home? Yeah, she's upstairs studying. You think she saw tool time today? No, I don't think so. Great. But we did. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Dad. Mom's always wanted a compact car. You, you, guys, you guys didn't tell her, did you? No, nope. we thought it'd be more fun to watch you tell her. Well, you might have to wait a little bit, because I'm not going to tell her for a while. I don't know. Mom's pretty smart. And as the weeks go by, she's going to notice she doesn't have a car. <laughs> and then when she does, you'll have to tell her you totaled it. No, no, no. It's a classic. You don't really total a classic. You, I can rebuild it from the existing parts, you know? And, and, until I figure out how long it's going to take me, I don't think we should tell Mom. Okay. And um, we also don't have to tell her that we got kicked off the bus today. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean you got kicked off the bus? Well, let's just say there was an unfortunate incident involving some glue in Vinnie McGurn's butt crack. <laughs> As of 3 o'clock, he's closed for business. <laughs> Guys, as much as I appreciate a practical joke, <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> you know, this has been bothering your mom and I. I can't let you get away with this. I gotta tell her about this. Okay, then I guess we have to tell her what we saw in Tool Time. Mm -hmm. I'm not making a deal here. Well, here comes Mom. You... <laughs> deal. Look like I'm doing. Losing your mind. Hey, what does that thing look like right there? It's a pimple. The whole seventh grade is covered with them. <laughs> Although, from this angle, it does kind of look like a boil. Here are the candles. That looks good. Hey, Mom. Hey. What's that smell? It's your father's birthday dinner. Thank you very much. He usually doesn't smell that bad till an hour after he eats. <laughs> it's cauliflower. Would you guys set the table? Your dad wants to eat healthier, so I'm making steamed vegetables, rice, chicken, and birthday watermelon for dessert. Just because dad thinks he's dying, why do we have to suffer? <laughs> dad isn't really gonna die, is he? No, honey. He's probably gonna live forever. He's already survived fire, electrocution, and crashing through a porta potty. Then why is he so worried? Honey, your father will get through this. You know, all guys go a little off the deep end when they hit 40. They get insecure, they obsess about every gray hair. And pimples and places I don't even want to know about. I don't think we should be steaming open the letter. My key 
teacher said to give it to Mom and Dad. We're doing this for you, dork. Yeah, if you don't know what the teacher said, then you don't know what lie to tell the Mom and Dad. <laughs> I don't have to lie. I didn't do anything. Right, Mark. Teachers always send home notes like that. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Taylor, Mark didn't do anything. Just wanted to try out the new pen. <laughs> Hey, guys, how many times have we told you about steaming open letters? I mean, if you're going to do it, use a teapot here. Much more steam comes out of this thing right here. <laughs> That's good, Tim. Why don't you teach him next time how to pick a lock? You think they're ready? <laughs> Let me guess. A note from school. Which one of you is it this time? Not me. Not me. It's me. You? You? <laughs> your first letter from a teacher all right you're a man you're in big trouble but you're a man hey mom when are we gonna eat i'm starving your dad and uncle marty are bringing home a pizza they should be back any minute you know ever since you went back to school you've hardly cooked anything yeah i'm sorry I, i'm it's been really hectic hey i wasn't complaining <laughs> So, uh, what are you studying? Randy, I came outside because I wanted you guys to stop bothering me. I gotta get this paper for my psych class written. Well, what's it on? Mood disorders. <laughs> you should do very well. Can I see something different to your hair? <laughs> see, I told you you weren't ugly enough to scare anybody. You're totally ugly. I'm just used to you. <laughs> hey, Mom, you think I have a chance at winning the costume contest? I don't think I have enough brains oozing out of my head. I didn't know you had any brains in your head. <laughs> well, how would you like it if I made you look like you're really dead? Boys, boys, we just relax. I think Mark's going to win the contest anyway. Mark? Shh. No way. Well. <laughs> well, if he's Al, I guess that makes you Al's mom. <laughs> I don't think so, Brad. <laughs> Man, this ice cream really is frozen. <laughs> How long is it going to take before we get to eat it? Well, I'm guessing about 12 more spoons. <laughs> Cam, I found the video camera. What do you want that for? I want you to take that speech. Hey, don't worry, Mom. You're going to do great. Oh, thank you. I'm so nervous about this library opening. I have never spoken in front of so many people before. Oh, you have nothing to worry about. And uh, by the way, did we mention that you look awesome? <laughs> Why do you have your hands behind your backs? Just a little change of pace from keeping them in front, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, you ought to try it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see them. Both of them. You're so pathetic. Oh, guys. How many times have you told you not to break the spoons in the ice cream? What happened to that ice cream scooper that I bought you? It didn't work right. Dad's been trying to fix it. Dad did fix it. Oh, great. I took the old 35-watt element out of this and replaced it with one out of an electric curling iron. Dad, we don't have time for this. We have to go. Now you not only melt the ice cream, you can style it at the same time. Just flip her on. Watch this baby go right through this stuff. Look at that. Milkshake, anybody? Yeah, how'd you do that? Guess what I have? Rabies? <laughs> no, this videotape. I heard Mom and Dad arguing about it last night, so then I came down and got the tape. Hey, that was pretty sneaky. You know, Mark, if you keep this up, you might actually turn into a person. <laughs> Thanks, I really want to be a person. <laughs> no, no one is.
Nobody's as boring as my wife. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trust guys, me. guys, believe me. I got it, I got it. If Jill's talking about psychology, she's the big bopper of boredom. And you know why? Because she well, can talk Mom saw this and Dad's still boring. alive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the night is still young. Hey, shut that off. You guys shouldn't be watching that. Why not? Why? Because it's private adult stuff. You wouldn't understand. You're making fun of Mom. What's so hard to understand? <laughs> I'm not making fun of mom. I'm making fun of my wife. Dad, I don't know if you realize this, but they're the same person. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a little joke. She knows it. End of story, okay? So why isn't she talking to you? You know, you're starting to act a lot like Brad and Randy here. <laughs> Thanks. Let me explain something to you guys. There's a lot of things that can be said in the privacy of a hardware store that cannot be said in public places like your home. So what you're saying is you can make fun of Mom, but not when she's around. No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, then what are you saying? I'm saying it's disrespectful to say anything about other people when they're not around. Especially if the camera is rolling. <laughs> okay. First thing is, Heidi introduces us. Then we tell them it's craft week. And then we begin the project. But the best part is, I get to use a scroll saw all by myself. No, 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 no. The best part is, I get to work side by side with my oldest boy. Tool dad, tool son. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, 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 could you please turn that junk down? It's not junk, it's heavy metal. Well, it sounds like they're banging their heads in their guitars and they're getting their teeth drilled. Hey, cool, you saw the video. <laughs> Randy, stop bothering us. We're trying to prepare for tomorrow's tool time. What do you mean, we? Al's not gonna be there. So I'm gonna be Dad's new assistant. Right. You? Yeah. And not only that, I get to hang out with Heidi. I'll probably get her phone number. <laughs> Back the hormones up. <laughs> I don't want to have to bring the fire department in to hose you down. <laughs> no big deal for them. They're usually there anyway. <laughs> playing with my basketball. Why? You're not. Well, I am now. So, did your brother's gonna be on tool time? Yeah, they're doing a salute to doofuses. <laughs> Who don't want to be on that stupid show anyway? Well, I would. Forget about it. The only one who loves you to be on that show is Brad. Dad picks him to do everything. Well, Dad does a lot of things with me, too. Oh, shut up. I don't know. I think Dad will let me be on tool time someday. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. On second thought, hold your breath. Knee is sex time. <laughs> I am so sorry I had that test and I couldn't be there. Yeah, you were really good. Hey, you had the audience eating out of the palm of your hand. One of these days you have your own star on the Tool Time Walk of Fame. Right near mine and way ahead of Al's. <laughs> I'll get it. Hey, hey, don't bother. I'm sure it's for me. It's probably Heidi. Yeah, she just wants to know what time she should come over to babysit you. <laughs> just jealous. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hi, Ashley. Oh, you love the show. Not as much as Brad loves Heidi. I'm gonna pound you, you little punk. No, not you, Ashley. Um, Brad and Heidi sit. Could I call you right back? K I hey, hey, let it go. Come on, come on. Just go call Ashley upstairs from our room. What are you doing? Me? He's the one doing all the shoving. Because you're acting like a jerk. Tim, Tim. Randy, what's going on? Nothing. It's a big deal for Brad. Instead of ragging on him, you should be happy for him. You know, you're right, Dad. Why don't I just throw him a parade? His head's so big, he could be afloat. You know, of all the boys, I figure you and I are the most alike. Oh, come on, Dad. I mean, you and Brad are the most alike. No, no. We share similar interests, but you and I have similar personalities. If a guy's walking down the street with his fly down, if I can't come up with a joke, I know you'll back me up. <laughs> 
I mean, you gotta make the fly joke. That's right, you gotta make the fly joke. Hey, pal, you know your fly's down? It's cheaper than air conditioning. <laughs> hey, buddy, you know your fly's down? No, but I know fly me to the moon. <laughs> hey, all right.